coming to see us, we are still the Essence of Joy Alumni State from the Pennsylvania State University. And guess where we are? At the Pennsylvania State University. French campus. It's all good. It's all the same degree. You just have to be up in Happy Valley. But it's so nice to be here in the Philadelphia area sharing our annual Y'all Come concert. What does that mean, Y'all Come? Here they are. Here you are. The invitation has been extended. Please come. Some people may be looking for some food. <laughs> we'll see you afterwards, all right? But nevertheless, we have prepared a, a very varied uh, repertoire for your pleasure and your consideration as we move forward three portions of our program tonight. We begin with a setting, and I was thinking about this uh, as we were getting ready to do our final warm up. Several of the composers uh, whose music we are sharing tonight, I was privileged to uh, spend time with them this past week at the Hampton University Ministers Conference at Orcus and Choir Directors Guild. And indeed, we do have some people here that were also attending that festival this week. But nevertheless, Lift Every Voice and Sing, arranged by Roland Carter, who's retired from the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. Psalm 23, dedicated to my mother. That is the proper title. I'll say it again. Psalm 23, dedicated to my mother. Why am I taking this time? Because the text that Bobby McFerrin has used, is using in this adaptation of Psalm 23 reflects feminine pronouns as opposed to the masculine pronouns that we associate with the text. Please do not be offended. This is not conceived for liturgical use. We are not in a liturgical setting. If anybody writes a letter to Dr. Sue Howell and say, David, <laughs> I will find you. <laughs> all the male references are female, all right? To go with that, a, an alum of this choir, 10 years ago, Christina Harrison was finishing her freshman year at Penn State. She was in composition and she came to me, she says, Dr. Beach, I think I have something for you that I'd like to share with the choir. And her adaptation, uh, reflecting on her grandmother singing to the Lord Sunday morning, getting ready to go to church in Richmond, Virginia, where Christina is from. Uh, she um, has encapsulated several melodies along with the expression eggs and bacon on the stove and grandma singing to the Lord. We then go to uh, crossings and two pieces from crossings, no mirrors in my nana's house and wanting memories. Those of you that follow us know that those are staples in our repertoire. So four pieces reflecting on the women in our lives and that help us along our life journey. And then we bring before you our guest artist, Jason Lamar Yates, who is a native of Washington, D.C., and currently living and working in the Chicago area. We will do two movements from the cantata, I Will Lift Up My Eyes by Adolphus Hellstort. Following that is Anchored in the Lord, M. Roger Holland, native of Brooklyn, New York, and uh, has also created the Tribulation Suite, a four-movement suite for chamber orchestra, piano, oboe, and English horn that the choir does. And we finish this first set with clap praise. Diane was in Hampton last week. She's also a native of Washington, D.C., currently residing in Los Angeles, where she is uh, on the music staff of the Faithful Baptist Church uh, what she has tried to do is encapsulate in real time sounds in her consciousness that occur in the Black Baptist Church or Pentecostal Church or wherever people of color are gathering on a Sunday morning. So in between the singing, you will hear and see wonderful rhythmic clapping and choreography. We finish the first part of that, uh, the first third, with clap praise. 
Jason Lamar Yates will come before you at that time in his own way. We will take a short, tell your name, short. Short. How short, Dr. Leach? Short. Short. Intermission. All right. And then we will come back and close the program. Thank you so much for being here.